It's been a long time since I've done the onboarding for HubSpot CRM, so I wanted to do a brand new video showing you the latest from HubSpot and all the new stuff that they've integrated into the free CRM. So stay tuned. Hey, this is David with TechSmart Boss. It's been a long time since I've done the onboarding of HubSpot CRM, and I know they've changed a lot, and they're constantly improving their process. So I'm going to give it a new try here and set up a new account from scratch and record it so that you can see this video in addition to our others. So let's go ahead and click on the Get HubSpot Free button right from their homepage. There's a lot of options to choose from these days, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right into the get the free CRM and that's what we're going to be setting up today so let's go through this onboarding and see how it goes with the new update I'm going to use a different email than my normal one and put in a password I meet all of their requirements let's get HubSpot CRM and that's my little password manager I always recommend you use one that's remember all right, so it's asking me for a website address. I'll just leave that in there and I'll put this. I'll, I'll probably blur this out because I'm using some dummy information for this particular video. And it says it's powering up and it's ready. So that is a really smooth onboarding. And that's going to take us through a little bit of information. This is marketing information. Uh, let's just see how many people is required. So I'm just going to put the minimum information here other I'm not going to tell them too much let's see solopreneur make them think I'm really tiny which I am so they won't put the big dog salespeople on me uh, I'm not sitting up on behalf of a client save and continue nicely done I'm about to go places makes me think of Dr. Seuss all oh, the places that we will go and uh, it says it's going to uh, send me a verification email. So I've already got my email up here. There it is. Let's click on that. Really simple. Verify my email. And now I am good to go. Uh, it says it's going to send me there. And it is. And it still doesn't think it verified. But I know it just said it did. And I am now in the new CRM. And it looks like it's got some onboarding here to set up my account, some tips, some recommended learning paths. So this is a definitely a new dashboard from what we had uh, before, which looks really nice. There's also, they are integrating more of the paid things. Like you'll see here, their new service hub, which just came out. A uh, little lock symbol will tell you that's paid. Let's also look under the menus. I should see some locks. You'll see sequences and workflow. You have to have the sales pro in order to unlock those now. So you'll see that those are locked. These things are unlocked. Now documents and meetings that will give you a certain number for free. And then uh, you unlock more using the sales pro. So it doesn't necessarily tell me those uh, numbers there. Marketing locked because I have to set up a marketing hub. Lead capture is free. That's uh, a plug-in conversation inbox that's interesting oh good this is uh going with the service hub i believe where you can have a help desk the inbox is locked but you do get a certain number of templates with the sales pro free uh and then i believe it's five and then you can unlock more with the um paid version and then of course contacts and companies and activity feed and uh some some limited amount of reports are available uh, in the HubSpot CRM. So that's one of the reasons I wanted to do a new video because they do have a lot of things that they've got integrated now with the free CRM that are actually part of the other paid plans. So pretty important. And I, I believe if I were to click on, for example, the service hub, it'll take me to a sales page to upgrade for that. You can kind of see the link now is going to the upgrade. And um, it was... $400 a month which was sort of expensive for small business and now I'm not going to click well let's click because they don't have my credit card number it's not like they can charge me anything ah, here we go and you can see that uh, I would have to upgrade to the professional plan $400 a month includes five users and that's the same thing for the sales pro now if I go back to the free plan you'll see I get five templates five snippets one meeting link 
five documents, 200 notification, uh, email notifications tracked, one team, and some other things. But you'll see what I'm missing. The live chat, which is the meetings, the bot, the conversations. You're going to have HubSpot branding on your forms, the workflow and sequences, the knowledge base, which is part of the service hub, tickets, all these sorts of things. So you can kind of see how uh, they do that annual get a little bit of a discount there 20% it looks like uh, but I'm just gonna stick right now to the free CRM as I go through and explore more so hopefully this helped you I just want to go through the onboarding experience it is different it is super simple but now of course the uh, I'm not gonna say the hard work but the important work of importing your contacts and getting started starts so stay tuned for future videos or look at some of my existing ones and you'll see how I've done that in the past